welcome to the premiere episode of Richmond TV, our news program for Richmond, the American International University in London. I'm Liz Rios. Club meetings have been on the rise for the past couple of weeks, all interested in winning the Club of the Year award in April, as Stacey Torrin reports. R.I.S. Brooklyn! Uh, you should join R.I.S. because it represents the school as a whole with the um, international scope of things that we do. We represent the city as well in going out and um, involving ourselves in what's going on um, in London using the history and the political scope of what's happening here in a huge metropolitan city um, to kind of correspond with your education as well as having fun. And Chinese lecture was suggested to us by Dr. Deckers, who was a friend of the person giving the lecture, and it's supposed to describe how China has come from the Socialist Revolution of 1949 to 60 years later being on the cusp of becoming a global superpower. This person is somebody called John Gittings, and John Gittings was the editor on The Guardian for, I don't know, 30 years, 25 years on Asian affairs. But, you know, he is one of the people in Britain who really knows about China. Will the Communist Party survive? Because we've seen this perfectly capable of finding ways to survive. But to put it very simply, Will China run out of water? My name is Brendan Pastor. I'm the president of the Green Project. Monthly river cleanups in the Wando River, which goes through Wandsworth, Sutton, and Merton councils. Basically, we get waist deep into the water and pick out rubbish. It turns out being a lot of fun. Next event, we have a trip to the Barnes Wetlands Center next Saturday on the 10th uh, to natural habitat right along the Thames River. Recycle and have fun. Model UN had a meeting and Morgan Potts discussed what Model UN plans on doing this semester. That's going to be a simulation of a conference just to give our newer members an idea of what the Model UN conferences look like when we're in action. Cambridge, Lyman, and Sussex, Usman, is all on okay. our agenda for the spring. The tennis club had a tournament on Saturday, October the 3rd. Well, with the table tennis and tennis club, we thought the tournament was a very small event, but it was still very successful. Good. It was a good day out here on the court. It was a lot of fun for all of us who participated. We look forward to doing another one sometime soon. Res Life is keeping the semester exciting with wine and cheese nights and trips to Devon and Cornwall. Here's Gina Saucier reporting on that. So this is our semesterly Courtfield Wine and Cheese Party. Um, a few of us, including myself, Gina, and Katie, went to Whole Foods and uh, picked out a vast array of um, different red, white, and rosé wines and a vast array of cheeses and breads as well to kind of um, accompany one another. I'm hoping to throw one again this semester and um, maybe a few next semester, but one to start with. We'll see what happens next. The Devon and Cornwall trip is a lot of fun. A four-day fun, um, you know, out, you get to go out into the water and get to experience um, English countryside and seaside, which is really exciting. My favorite part was surfing lessons because I actually accomplished and got further each time. Well, it was basically a surfing trip, but um, so we had surfing lessons twice uh, in t uh, two of the days. And then we also went to um, to see a castle as well. One of them was um, what they believe is King Arthur's castle, so that was pretty exciting. Um, we also got to go to the Eden Project, which is um, a, a wildlife reserve. Well, hello everyone. Um, I just came back from Scotland yesterday, and let me tell you, it was a really amazing trip. We had a lot of fun. It was a res life trip, in fact. No, actually, no, student affairs book trip. And it was very fun. We got to see Loch Ness. We went all around, um, at, well, we, we spent a night in Edinburgh, and we, had, we went all around the highlands and had a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of hills, um, pretty memorable hills, because they were all pretty much hills that Scots people did stuff that they probably shouldn't have done. But it was really nice and memorable, very, very beautiful country. We got to see a lot of ancient sites and ancient castles and whatnot, and I bought two kilts. I would recommend going to this trip just for the kilt, but you know, there's a lot more to see. Every semester, study abroad students spend a weekend in Paris. A weekend filled with fine food, fine culture, and fine company. Traveling to Paris was interesting. It was kind of long. The tour guides made it not as bad because it was pretty funny. We were able to get there right before sunset. We were able to see Paris 
during the day, at sunset, and at night. Not to be outdone by the exotic trips, the art design and media students go out and explore Venice, as Victoria Yepes Brown shows. I thought it was pretty fantastic. I had no expectations and came away kind of in love with the city, and I had a great time. It was perfect. I did. I had a really wonderful time. Uh, my first time in Venice, and I was really pleased by the entire experience. Uh, famous Venice Canal, you know. Uh, yeah, I fell in. Um, I started walking or standing on the little steps that lead into the canal. Decided to push my luck a little, try and step on the third one down. Just seaweed all over the, the, the step, slipped, fell in. But that wasn't so bad, it wasn't actually uh, too wet, sort of uh, up to my waist. And then uh, I, I looked up and, and I see my handbag floating. That's when I decided to dive in. Chase the handbag, it had my passport, my phone, my friend Katie's camera. Uh, all my money uh, without that uh, really would have been a l in a lot of trouble. Um, so that's when completely head to toe, in the eyes, in the mouth. Uh, I soaked up Venice, yeah. There have been a lot of changes to the semester at Richmond. The most noticeable change has been the new cafeteria system. Victor Yepes Brown investigates student opinions on the topic. Uh, I really like it. I really like that we have money on our card as opposed to the old system because I can take my friends out for lunch or they can come in and get food for afterwards. Um, and I think the, the food's are a lot better too. We have a better selection. I really like that some of the meals are a little more gourmet. We had some, some salmon with asparagus, which is really nice. I think I, really, I enjoy it. I really like it. I think for what you're getting, it's exactly the same. Like, the food's not different at all. Except for, like, the sandwiches. Um, I mean, honestly, it's not like I'm gonna, like, I don't run out of money on my card or anything. Like, I'm not, like, starving or anything like that. But it annoys me that we have so much money left over. I'd rather, like, get that money back if we have, like, 40 pounds left over at the end of the week. I, I wish they had this before. I wish they had this for the whole time. Yeah. No, it's pretty much the same food. Just we get it differently now. That concludes our program. Tune in next week for more Richmond TV. I am Liz Rios. Live your day. Live London.